We're going out today. That's right. We're touching grass. Nah, but it's Eid. If you don't know what that is, it's like the Muslim version of Christmas. And I've got some family members who's visiting from a different state, so you know what? Time to go have some fun. And you, you're coming out on this journey with me. Let's go. Okay, so we made it here. We're a little part of a city called Blue Mountain. This is Wentworth Falls. To get here, we literally went down this walking track where we saw a whole bunch of everything. Steep stairs, wet zones, I even jumped across a mountain. And yeah, of course, having a journey to get down here is really nice. Definitely some good exercise. But that's not exactly what I'm here to show you. Although it is a really fun journey to get to over here, and this place is much better than what, what I'm actually going to show you, that other place is absolutely beautiful. So, why don't we go there? Now, going uphill is a lot harder than going downhill. I can tell you that much. Bro, I'm taking a seat. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> But we persisted through the walking track. Being able to walk through a beauty like this is a blessing. And how worth it was all that. How good is this place? We spent a few minutes taking some pictures, because of course we would. Here are some shots. And here are some bonus videos of the falls from earlier. And after all that, we cracked open a cold one. Okay, so the last time I made a vlog, it didn't even come out to the public because change of plans. I wanted to buy a TV, turned out we already had a TV at home. But yeah, in that video that a lot of people missed, a lot of the same sentiments and questions are coming back out. Why am I not really being frequent on YouTube again? And it's just a mixture of a lot of things going on at once. School, university, family, a lot of those are going on at once and I'm trying to balance all those things. Sometimes in the act of balancing, you just have to kind of let stuff go here and there. And for now, I'm trying to prioritize everything else over content creation. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to do content creation altogether. What am I doing right now? And yeah, I want to give you guys that little update and take you guys on a little adventure that I'm having right now. And yeah, I think I just kind of relearned something. It's a lot easier going downhill than uphill. Okay, so I came to the locality of Katumba and I want to park my car over here to go look at the Three Sisters. And let's just say it's really expensive to park your car over here. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna hope this could be worth it. And we're here. We're here for the main show, the Three Sisters. Now, as if the Three Sisters rock formation wasn't enough, there was a really beautiful plateau here as well. Honestly, as a gamer, this entire place looks like it would be such a good setting for a game. Like, this entire thing reminds me of Hyrule, and <laughs> uh, I can't unsee that. It looks so cool back here. I find this so cool as well because just around over here where my finger is, apparently there's something called a ruined castle. It's an eroded remnant of the ridge that once connected Mount Solitary to Narrow Neck. And I think that's really interesting because it actually does over here look like a ruined castle. And there were some really fun facts about the Three Sisters itself as well. I filmed myself reading the information board, but I had no audio, so bad luck for me. And there were some really fun facts about the Three Sisters itself as well. So if you do look closely at the places that I'm about to circle over here, there was very clearly more space for more eroded rock formations like we see with the Three Sisters right over there. And I thought that's fascinating. Something that I do find so fascinating about these sorts of sceneries is it's right next to residential areas and yeah, I don't know, it's, <laughs> I've always found that fascinating how this sort of beauty can be right next to where you live. <laughs> Imagine how lucky these people are. Okay, yeah, now nah, anyways, I've overstayed my car park welcome, <laughs> so I'm gonna go back, hope I don't have a fine, but that's my journey in the Blue Mountains. Let's see what we do next. We had a booking for a movie at the cinema hall, so we went and watched that. And then for dinner, we had the best fast food in the world, Oporto. So, I got myself a cup of tea, and I'm gonna be absolutely honest over here. My legs are dead from yesterday from all that mountain climbing. But yeah, never too much mountains. Now, towards the end of yesterday, I didn't actually end up filming too much because I, I just kind of forgot. <laughs> but I want to fill you in on a couple of things that did happen yesterday. So the movie that we watched was Monkey Man, and I'm gonna be honest, we were like half an hour late to the film. <laughs> we were half an hour late to the theater, and I have no idea what happened at the start of the film. We started watching the film from the middle, and yeah, it was jam-packed with action, so I, I really like that. So I'm literally over here contemplating if I should go to the movies again, just to watch the first half hour, or wait until it's out on streaming services. But I don't actually know if I know how that's gonna go if it comes out on streaming services, because if you don't know, Monkey Man was actually originally bought by Netflix, but never released. <laughs> and then it 
came out now and bruh, might be winning so many awards. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is we ended up encountering a wild Karen. <laughs> so I want to give my two cents on this. Something that happened last night was when we went to a porto, some lady walked in and started demanding a refund. And I was eavesdropping real hard on what was actually going on. Basically what happened was she ordered something from Uber Eats. It got cancelled. So she showed up at the restaurant that she ordered from and demanded them to give her a refund. Now, I feel so bad because the people that she demanded them from, the customer service, obviously they're not really trained in corporate lingo they don't know what to say so they just started blabbering stuff that just made the entire situation worse so as a customer i kind of understand the frustration you feel when you hear that oh it's not on our system because it gets annoying because it might not be on your system but you got all the means to make things happen but that's not the point the point was some really entitled lady walked in and started to throw all this like language at these people who don't even speak english really that well saying stuff like what's your name this is unacceptable i'm gonna be telling corporate and i can imagine how that would become stressful and annoying but what peeved me the most was this lady ended up winning she got herself a free meal <laughs> Now to anyone who works in customer service, just remember if they don't buy anything from you, you don't owe them anything back. I've been in this sort of position a couple of times and if I were to give them any advice, I would say that if someone didn't buy something from you, you don't owe them any money. Obviously. In this situation in particular, the middleman was Uber Eats. Uber Eats is probably going to refund that money. When? I don't know, but you're not going to get any money from me. So take your entitled ass and go back to hell. <laughs> and I don't know if I was wrong for doing this, but I was trying to be as loud and as rude as possible. Like in the middle of the meal, I'd be like, man, this lady is so dumb. And then after taking a bite of some hot chips, I'd be like, imagine not knowing how to use an app and blaming someone else. Like I tried to be as loud as possible. I knew she could hear me because I kept seeing her glance over to my direction. But yeah. I don't know, maybe I made the situation worse by actually making them win. But in the end of the day, yeah. I did want to help them, but I feel like in the end of the day, that was just not my business to actually go up and say, hey, this is what's actually going on. They need to learn as well, I guess. <laughs> All right, finally, I found some shade. It's not the nicest area, but yeah found some shade <laughs> now real quick i do want to thank some people in the whole process of making this video and like for life in general i guess for people who watch my live streams you've heard me constantly say that hey i might go to adelaide i have family there i've been saying that for like two years and i've never done it the family came to me so thanks for making time for me family members <laughs> I, I really i really appreciate that and i want to give a big shout out to everyone who actually watches my videos and become members on this channel because because normally i've been living paycheck to paycheck and then even though it's not much money through the monetization program for me at the moment it's enough for me to go do something nice like this since i got monetized i've been able to buy countless video games i've been able to go out and do food vlogs as well now this little trip to the blue mountains and i think it's absolutely amazing that you guys support me in this way so Thank you so much. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button. And there's been a lot of new people coming in to watch my channel as well. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the sub button. Thanks everyone. Take care. See ya.